Oh, welcome. Yes. Lunch was on Bishop Robert Brennan Wednesday, the shepherd of the Diocese of Brooklyn, spreading some Christmas cheer while also raising money for Catholic education. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti. Every year, hundreds of priests and parishioners head to Russo's on the Bay in Queens for the Bishop's annual Christmas luncheon. It's a major event during the holiday season for the Diocese of Brooklyn because it supports young Catholics across Brooklyn and Queens. Current News' Jessica Easthope has that report from Howard Beach. It's the biggest turnout the annual Bishop's Christmas Luncheon has ever had. 900 people all showing support for the same cause, getting the youth of the Diocese of Brooklyn closer to Christ. It was only fitting that students from St. Elizabeth Catholic Academy in Ozone Park were front and center. Money raised at this year's event will go toward futures and education scholarships, helping low-income students go to Catholic school and a new youth ministry program called Generations. As the Catholic Foundation for Brooklyn and Queens turns 25, it's launching the program that looks to empower young people to explore their faith. With our programs, youth ministry, get a youth minister and all of the, supporting all the parishes, it's really going to be a great thing. Bishop Robert Brennan says he only has one thing on his Christmas list this year, and it can't be found under a tree. What I want more than anything is to provide opportunities for our young people to know that gift of friendship with Jesus Christ. This year's event honored three people who have championed Catholic education. Thomas Sorrentino Jr. received the Emma A. Daniels Award. Michelle Stoddart received the Spirit of Hope Award. And Father Joseph Gibino received the St. John Paul II Distinguished Stewardship Award. Each and every one of the popes have asked us to be evangelizers, those who work to spread the good news of the gospel. And this event is all about how we do that. The Catholic Foundation for Brooklyn and Queens raised more than $300,000 at the event. In Howard Beach, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. You too can help the young Catholics of Brooklyn and Queens. Just go to catholicfoundationbq.org to donate. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.